Happy New Year! Oh, I'm excited to have another year of Eco Ask Why. And for this episode of Straight Talk with Chris, I'm going to talk about working from home and avoiding burnout. You know, we've been several years now into the pandemic, and so many people are working remotely or hybrid roles. You hear that talked about now. And really, the game has changed. So I'm going to give you three tips to really focus on to start your new year right. Number one, Let's talk about how you start your day if you work from home. Out the gate, make your bed. That is the first tip. Make your bed because you know what? Your day could just, it may just not be a good day. But if you make your bed, at least you get that one box checked. And there have been studies out there that have proven, hey, it's an emotional thing. It's really a a mental checkbox that you don't want to skip. So make the bed. Get active. You definitely want to get active. Get moving in the morning. Get your heart rate up. Then do some reading. You know, reading is the exercise for the brain. And if you do it first thing in the morning, it may kickstart things and get your gears turning and get ready for the day where you can bring your best. Have a little quiet time. That may be a prayer time or a meditation time, but just some time to yourself to reflect. That's important. Also, starting your day right, you got to have something good to eat. So get something healthy. You know, we're not talking Bojangles and uh, McDonald's and things like that. Pick up something healthy. Make it at the house. And then set some goals for today. You know, maybe I have a little punch list. I have that. I have a notepad by my by my computer. And I know what I'm going to be working throughout today. But put some times on that too. Because if you don't set down deadlines for yourself, you may find yourself never getting through your list. So that's the big one. Start your day right. Number two, set some boundaries. Now, this is important if you're working from home. You need to clear the air with the people that you live with on what you do and where you do it. You know, luckily, I have a home office. My family knows when I'm at work, you know, you cannot just walk in because they may be recording a podcast or talk on a video call, things like that. So have those conversations. People need to know. You know, and it's so easy with kids and things like that they get home at 3 30 or 4 o'clock they think well you know mom or dad's home well no mom and dad's still working so just make sure you have those conversations with your kids because that's really important and then i want you to think about boundaries when it comes to email some people get really stressed out over email and when it comes in no matter what time of day or night they feel like they got to answer it you know what that puts a lot of stress on people so just be considerate of that email. Maybe that email can wait until the morning. You can even set up settings in your Outlook and your email servers that you know you send that email out first thing in the morning or you, you, where you're not putting a certain expectation on others. Because you know what? If you're responding to that late night email, the people that work with you around you are seeing that and that may be setting an expectation for them that they need to respond, right? So just think about that, you know, because not everybody works to crazy hours. And speaking of hours... Set some hours and stick to them, for crying out loud. Don't forget your breaks. But if you set your hours from 9 to 5, at 5 o'clock, you're done. Move on to the next thing. I've seen so many people with this whole work from home hybrid feel like they they have to work all the time. They're never off. You know, something comes in, i got to respond to it right now. No. Make the boundaries for yourself. Set them and stick to them. Now, third item. This is a big one, so pay attention. Use your PTO. We have PTO, and so many people don't use it. You know, PTO policies exist by companies because they realize their people need breaks. So use that PTO. It's really important. Self-health is real, and we have to be intentional about taking care of ourselves. So use that PTO. Take care of yourself because burnout, that's happening all around. And you know what? If you just step away from it a little bit and get some time for you, you may be able to recharge and come back with the energy that you need to deliver your best results. But you won't ever do it if you're constantly burnt out. And I've seen people get stressed out because they haven't used their PTO. Then they try to cram it at the last minute to not lose it. Then they can't do it because they have so much. They physically, it's impossible to take it. So don't get caught in that camp. Use your PTO. Make some long weekends. A lot of people take Fridays. Maybe flip it. Take a Monday instead. You know, find pockets of time that you can actually rest and recharge. That's so important. So what are they? 
Start the day right, set those boundaries, and use your PTO. Now, you know, the Straight Talk with Chris episodes, I want you to challenge my thinking. What am I missing? What other tips do you have, maybe you've learned, that's helping you work at home effectively? And I'm going to leave you with this question. What are you going to do this year, 2022, to strike a better balance and avoid burnout working from home? So if you like what you're seeing with Straight Talk with Chris, let us know. Give us that five-star rating. Write a review for us. It really does help. We're also still collecting the war story information. And I'll tell you what, there have been some fun ones coming in. So get those war stories to us. You'll see links in the show notes to be able to do that. The ones that are coming in, I cannot wait because it's just going to be so much fun to, to share that and to, to let everybody hear some of these cool stories. And we're thinking about the stuff that, that you tell around the dinner table. When you go to a, to a party and you're like, you'll never guess what happened. Those are the stories we want to hear. So submit those to us. We really want to hear them. And thank you for doing that. And remember, keep asking why. Thank you for listening to Eco Ask Why. This show is supported ad-free by Electrical Equipment Company. Eco is redefining the expectations of an electrical distributor by placing people and ideas before products. Please subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends. Also, leave comments, feedback, and any new topics that you would like to hear. To learn more or to share your insights, visit EcoSY.com. That's E-E-C-O-A-S-K-S-W-H-Y.com. 